Uh, Republican Tommy Tuberville says that he will continue to fight for the unborn. The Alabama senator is not confirming the Department of Defense's nominations until the Pentagon changes its expanded abortion policies. But now he is getting opposition from the top Republican in his own party. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has the latest. Since February, Senator Tommy Tuberville has held up DOD nominations, nearly 200 civilian general officers and high level promotions within the Pentagon. The issue is over the Defense Department allowing service members and their spouses to use taxpayer dollars to fund abortion related travel expenses. In America, those with the broadest shoulders guard those with the narrowest. Yet the Biden administration wants to mobilize our military against the weakest and the most defenseless, the unborn. The DOD created the new policy in response to the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe last year. Senator Tuberville and other Republicans say current law only allows the Defense Department to fund abortions in cases of rape, incest, or if the life of the mother is threatened. However, the Department of Justice, quote, concluded that the DOD may lawfully expend funds for this purpose under its express statutory authorities and independently under the necessary expense doctrine. But this week, Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell says he won't support Senator Tuberville's blockade. No, I don't support uh, putting a hold on military uh, nominations. But other Republicans tell me the blame shouldn't fall on Senator Tuberville, but on the Democratic leader for not allowing the issue to get a floor vote. Holding the promotions is, is a difficult decision, but it's the only thing I think will get their attention. All he wants is a vote on his amendment to change this policy. He deserves a vote, so I blame Senator Schumer. It, you know, give him a vote, all this goes away. Approximately 40 percent of the women in the military do not have or have limited access to abortion services where they live or are stationed currently, according to a RAND study. Senator Tumberville is receiving praise from conservative organizations like the Heritage Foundation and Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.